You're watching a clip from the club podcast. Make sure you follow it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and give it a five-star review. So here you go. Here's a lovely clip from our podcast. We should talk about one club that I'm sure those fans would love to be state-backed. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur, they need a, a big rebuilding job. Um, if we assume Harry Kane is going to stay, I think the interest, as football fans, we're looking at the interest in Harry Kane. Man United should be interested. Real Madrid should be interested. I just don't see it, lads. I don't see the interest in Harry Kane for whatever reason. Let's assume he stays. Let's talk about some of the players that are linked to Tottenham Hotspur in terms of the rebuild. Well, he's priced himself out. Uh, uh, Spurs have priced him out of a move. United aren't interested. United are interested. Why aren't you interested? No, because of the price. That's right. why they, they, they've gone. To pay it. What, 100 million? I think what United are doing is we're not going to try and mess about trying to get Harry Kane in a deal that's going to be impossible to make with Daniel Levy. So we'll back off and hope Harry Kane does the legwork. He needs to do some legwork, bro. He needs what, to take, you mean transfer request? Like, he needs to take control of his own destiny here. Because clubs are looking at him going, this guy's not serious for a move, I think. Like, okay, what's so the point it, it, in us trying a to end a, a transfer saga for him if he's not it's even on it? It's a good conversation, that. I agree. Does Harry Kane want to leave Tottenham? No. Enough. He wants to score five goals against North Macedonia in the qualifying every three months for England and be the highest scorer for England. But I think sometimes, I think he does want to leave Spurs, but not enough. Mm. He ain't got it in him. Because no, he ain't got the, it the thing him. is, yeah. you know what we have to factor in? It's very difficult for us to do this because in our heads, we go, go and play for Real Madrid, Harry. Like, go and be the best. But he's got a lovely life. He's a legend at Tottenham. He's breaking their record. He's breaking the Premier League record. He's breaking the England record. His missus is pregnant. Is it wrong? We are very judgmental and snide a bit. Should we judge him for that? He's, he's, no, but we will judge him for not winning anything. Yeah, but should we? He's great. Yeah. He's a great player. What? But what? But... Just for the record, I disagree with what I'm saying, but I'm going to argue this the other Spurs way, right? win something and he hasn't. No, but... It's, so now you need to leave, bro, because the Spurs around you isn't good enough to win why anything. why does he... In your, in your definition of success, you have to win trophies. Oh, yeah, in his definition of success, no, no, he might just think, yeah, hey, no, I'm winning. I'm winning at life, He's successful, of course he is, no matter whether he ends with a trophy or not. But you've got to consider that these are... These have made it where they've made it for a reason, because they are the mm. elite, the most supreme athletes, mm. footballers around... They want to win things. Like, whether we, we will laugh and joke and call Harry Kane a loser. No, he's not. He's a winner. Mm. And on the scale that, of winners, he's a loser. Yeah, on the scale, on the of, scale winners, of winning, he's yeah. losing. Do yeah, you yeah. want it enough? Are yeah. you prepared to be able to be brave enough like Jude Bellingham and go, no, I back myself. Do, do you know what? I'm going to go to Dortmund. Yeah. I'm going to go to Real Madrid. Do you know what I think he should do? Like, look, Manchester United, obviously, is, is, a, is a great option for him. But it's a slightly easier option. What I think he should do, the easiest option... The easiest thing for, for Harry and, and his missus when they chat about it, the easiest thing for him to do is go, do you know what? Let's stay here. We've got a lovely house in Chigwell. We'll, we'll sit tight. The second hardest thing to do is to go to Man United because mm. his missus can probably stay in mm. Chigwell. The, the brave decision, the outlandish decision, the, the, the king's decision. He's got, you know what? I'm going to go and replace Karim Benzema at yeah. Real Madrid. I'm going to go and lead the line and be part of this brand new looking iteration of Real Madrid with Bellingham and Camavinga and Chuamani and the new looking Bernabeu. Go and, yeah. go and be the spearhead of their crusade to win back the Champions League. His, his issue is he's working with a club. They're a joke club. I mean, look at the offer they put in last week for Harvey Barnes and James Madison. 50 million quid for both. Absolutely mental. It's an embarrassing. But let's assume move. Harry Kane's going to stay then. Yeah. Mm. What signings do they need to make? Well, they to need those two. I thought they. Were, that's fantastic business. That's a hundred million quid, lads. That's not fifty oh, million quid. What year? Well, they, they tried to sign both yeah. James Madison and Harvey Barnes for it's fifty mil million combined. Though. They're both just gone down. They're both fifty mil players individually, in my opinion. But you're not fifty mil in the championship. Shh. All right, maybe combine the eighty-five. They're not. They're not twenty-five mil each, are they? In today's market, you don't no make a way. first bid of a hundred million. No. Is what I'm not saying that, but fifty million is laughable. But you can imagine that they make you that try bid and never go in again. But, but can I can I just put a theory forward? Daniel Levy may well agree with you, but no such start a bid low, yeah. Yeah. Like you know, you know, if someone asks yeah. me my rate, if someone wants to work with me, I yeah. go high. Yeah. Do you? Oh, yeah, I go high. You wouldn't give me mates rates then. I get you, mate. You you get the mates rates on a regular basis, but you know what I mean. Start <laughs> yeah, yeah. start because then the, your starting point. Yeah, if, but if, if Levy goes fifty, yeah, but if, if they can come back and go seventy, he goes all right. You I'm know, thinking City, 80, so. you know, City do it, or you know, Real Madrid do it, or it's one of these clubs that have been successful in the transfer market. Yeah, Spurs have not been successful in the transfer market. What's so that when, got to do with their bid though? Because their bid 
it, it's I think I know so many Spurs fans that see that bid is actually a final bid. It's a, it's a bit of a joke offer. It's not a serious offer. And they're trying to rebuild their their football team. And um, you've got two in, you know proper footballers in Harvey Barnes and James Madison. James Madison particularly is a Champions League level footballer. Spurs aren't in the Champions League to offer basically twenty five million quid for him is embarrassing. So do you in think my that opinion. they should have really gone for these two? Probably yeah, right, seventy five million. Don't throw in for Harvey Barnes then. Fine, I agree with you on that point. Offer fifty mil for just for James Madison. That's a, mm. that's good business. Although what you could do, I think you're better off doing the bulk. Do 60 for both. 65 for both. I think the trouble for them is James Madison's possibly got his heart set in Newcastle. And Leicester need... But hang on. Leicester need money. Leicester need to sell. Those players won't want to stay in the championship. He wants to stay in London. James Madison. I've heard reports that he wants... (laughs) He wants... You know, Leicester's near London. It's near London. (laughs) He, he doesn't want to go bang north. in the middle that he wants to come to London that's why I've heard <laughs> that's what I've <laughs> yeah James Madison no, loves living in North London where does he live <laughs> Leicestershire it's North London yeah but, no- just... yeah but Newcastle's far from London it's a whole different world up there let's be real yeah um, I, I think it's an interesting one for Tottenham because I think their squad is so average and you know Ange Postacoglu going in there you kind of go okay so he's gone in he's taken over a Tottenham team possibly without Harry Kane, definitely without Hugo Lloris, who, whatever we think of his ability, is their club captain. Mm. To be fair, they were better when he wasn't in the team. But he's, he's not... Hang on. Whatever you think of Lloris, he's better than Foster, true. isn't he? He has been a problem. Foster, not, Foster he's, was better. He's, he's, no, no, yeah, Foster's been better. In the That's final few days of the season. They still need a new goalkeeper. But <laughs> Hugo Lloris going, I think, is a brave decision they've made. Mm. And it's the right decision. Mm. It's the one Mate, United it's not should brave. be making should right now. They should have done it three years ago. That would have been brave. That's like United. No, The keeper needs to go, bro. Just... Take the hit. And they're going to sign that yeah. Ray up. I think Tottenham are in trouble next year. Mate, if Nuno Espirito Santa goes there, right? And they had a better squad back then. Everyone, you know, everyone's kind of more fit and firing. They've just been more recently out of the Pochettino era. So Nuno Espirito Santa goes in there. He's a better manager than Postacoglu. Why does he's everybody Premier... rate Postacoglu so Who high? they need to sell? Kane? He, he, he chats shit in interviews. He's, he's big. Nah. He's, he's a big boy. He looks I different to everyone. He's not clean cut and all and that. Postacoglu could do a decent job there, you know. <laughs> Based he on what? He could do a decent job Possibly at Tottenham. You know why? But you know why I think you know, ring an endorsement because <laughs> he doesn't go. <laughs> no, you know I mean? like, he doesn't go there with a huge expectation of Conte, Mourinho. Mate, you ever met a Tottenham fan? No, no, but yeah, I think their their expectations have been drilled into the ground. I've you yeah, maybe. spoke to yeah. Flav every week for the last <laughs> couple of months. Like the guy is on the floor, and I think all they need is someone to capture the imagination. Remember the old days with yeah, Spurs? They used to play decent football. Yeah, yeah. I think Postacoglu's style of football, whether it's good enough to get them Champions League, I don't know, because it's hard to gauge the jump from SPL. But I think he'll he'll get the fans on side, and that'll be huge. It's like kind of like Arsenal, you know, when Arteta got the fans on side, yeah. and then slowly but surely, maybe you can try something. Mm. But it might be eighth for them. Do you think but, they're yeah. going to struggle, Tottenham? Top eighth, finish. eighth will be sacking. Do they need eighth, eighth Kane? Though, right? Do they need to sell Kane to get the players in to rebuild? Where's this money coming from? They got loads of money. Uh, Joe Lewis they spent 150 last loads, summer loads, remember they won the window last money. summer they got a gold medal in their trophy cabinet yeah. at White Hart Lane you can go there now they got the uh, the Amazon documentary on a DVD and then they've got the gold medal for winning the transfer window for signing Longley from Barcelona and, and, and Basuma yeah and Basuma <laughs> and Forrester <laughs> from Celtic and all that no, Southampton but um, I, I'm interested you know Matoma's been linked Ganotto from Leeds Matoma what's what on earth did he go there what's in it for him who's the second lad huh? No, I said Matoma first, and then we move on to Harvey Barnes. No, but, <laughs> yeah, huh? What was the second player you said? I didn't, the kid from Leeds, fantastic player. Um, I he's I a fan, tricky <laughs> winger. Well, you don't watch enough Leeds, Rodrigo. so you wouldn't know about I wasn't, mate, it. I Rodrigo's don't watch fantastic. Leeds, we talked about David Rea. Is there any other big transfers that Spurs need? That kind of uh, they need they, everything. They need a lot. I know there's nothing but, in it for Matoma. To I think David. Rea, I know I, uh, David Rea for me is the keeper that changes things at the back I think they need to change things up massively I know it's not adventurous but sometimes a keeper can start look at Edison at Man City Alisson at Liverpool if you look sometimes at you need a big keeper season, to change things if you look at their problems last season they didn't have enough goals around Kane outside of Kane Son maybe he improves he's been linked with a move to Saudi Arabia maybe he improves this season he can't be as bad as last season as Shock him. he's a pretty good player Kulusevski is his fit for the whole season is he staying? I think he is isn't he? I think he made it permanent yeah 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 so Kulusevski, if he's there, I think he's a decent player if he's fit. So you've possibly still got a front three. Richarlison's still knocking about somewhere. Maybe you cash in on him mm. and bring in, you know, some funds to, to send Richarlison back to Everton. Who's paying that though? Bring some funds in. What, Bissouma, can you keep him fit this season? Yeah. Jed got... Spence, bring him back. Oh. He actually had a good loan deal out in front. Did he, yeah. So maybe he can become the player who's supposed to. But they need defenders. Yeah. In abundance. Start from the keeper. Eric Dyer, a young keeper, not good enough. Keeper. I used to wreck Christian Romero. I got that one horribly yeah, wrong. Yeah. 
Um, like they needed a whole I new think defense. They, I just think they need a whole new team. Like I've seen that Oliver Skip play for them loads. It's just like he's so average. That Hoybier. People try and rate him. Now, but Hoy, he needs you know to be around. Is, oh, the look, here we go. We're judging no, he them on, no, not Hoiberg in oh. particular. I'm on about, you know, all their players, we're judging them on last season. <clears throat> like, judging them on any season. With the manager and that, that was there. Like, if you remember, and again, he might still be crap next season, but Hoiberg was half decent for Marino. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, he wasn't yeah, the worst yeah, player yeah. in the world That's for true. Marino. So maybe, you never know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Um, we Where should do you be... think Spurs finish next season? Top half. <laughs> Eighth. That's not bad. Yeah. That's, I'm thinking 10th. I think like Europa League spots maybe a push. You, you, it's yeah, pathetic where they, where they were and they should have been able to build on what, po- what Pochettino built. They yeah. should have been able and to deliver on And bear in mind, five, five teams. Yeah. They still won't make still it as well. Them. No, they won't. <laughs> it's pathetic, really. 